So in this video demo, we're just going to do a really quick overview on how to clean up your Simulink model a little bit. As you can see, once you start to add a lot of different blocks, things can start to look a little bit complicated and ugly. And if you want to make that look just a little bit cleaner, one thing you can do is highlight certain blocks. So here I'm going to highlight my reactor model and all the integrators, and I'm making sure I capture all of the inputs and outputs associated with my model. So I just left click to highlight everything I want and then I right click and I go to create subsystem from selection and what it's going to do is it's going to take everything that I've got highlighted and collapse it into a single block known as a subsystem. So once I do that I create it creates this subsystem. I'm now going to call this subsystem reactor. Now I can double click on the subsystem and now I can go in and see all that complicated detail that I didn't want to see on my main page, but I can still see everything um, once I drill down into this submodel. One thing to make it a little more convenient to see what things are, you can come in. These little oval shaped blocks are pass throughs, so you can pass something through from the main system down into your subsystem, and they're just given default labels. So input one, I'm going to go ahead and change that to Q in, and my s input two, I'm going to change to CA0. And I'll do the same thing for my outputs. And remember these blocks, this one is labeled just V. Remember this is the volume because it is the integral of dV dt. And same thing here with the concentration of A. Finally, I have the concentration of B. So now once I've labeled all of my inputs and outputs, if I come back and go back to my main model, you can see it's labeled all those very nicely for me. So now I have this much cleaner looking Simulink model.